it's Matt the Homebrew Hero. We are making a Hefeweizen today. Uh, just a little bit about the Hefeweizen. It's a beer from South Germany. Hefe meaning with yeast. Weizen is a German word for wheat. So this kind of beer, just if you're not familiar with it, it's going to be kind of cloudy from the wheat. Sometimes it's like a 50-50 amount of wheat and barley in it. In this case, we're gonna be doing 60% wheat, 50% barley. We can get banana, clove flavors from this, some spiciness. It's gonna be just a mild hop, a moderate alcohol level, probably not more than 5%. So all together, we spent about $38.98, that's counting the uh, shipping. So you can actually make this beer for cheaper than that. Okay, so. Here's our six pounds of wheat, our white wheat. This is gonna give it a malty flavor. They use this in a lot of, you know, wit beers and stuff like that. Our Pilsner, we're using German Pilsner. If you wanted to go a little cheaper, you could use, uh, you know, just the normal American Pilsner, Pilsner, but we're gonna be authentic today. Our Saws hops, you could substitute this, this with Tenninger. This is going to give us a delicate, mild, clean, maybe even somewhat floral kind of a aroma flavor. This is our Weinstoppen. I have no idea how to say that. This is a unique Bavarian wheat yeast that produces spicy clove and banana flavors. Best when fermented around 68 degrees. We're going to need 13 quarts. That's 3.25 gallons. I already got it measured out here. So we're going to add this Camden tablet, just half a tablet. Um, it's all we're going to need. That's uh, gonna just help with any chlorine or anything that might be in our water. We're gonna use just a little bit of this ginseng to bring up our uh, sulfate a little bit. You may not wanna do that, but just depends on your water conditions. We're gonna add a total of two milliliters to the mash. We're gonna add another milliliter of the sparge. Just need to bring down our pH a little bit. pharmacy all right so we got our 3.25 gallons of mash water heating up we want a medium body so we're gonna aim for a final mash temperature of 152 so we're gonna heat this up to 168 and that should do the trick. Um, if you need any help with your calculations you're definitely gonna want to download beer smith um, right now would be a good time to get your smack pack going. If you get the Y yeast, it has like this packet here. Just kind of get in a corner. And basically, this has the yeast nutrients in it. So you're going you're gonna to get it into one corner and just smack it like a bitch. Just like you would, just like you would your bitch. You're going to want to do that at least three hours before. I'm not very good at smacking this thing. You know, give that just a second and take the temperature, make sure our mash is where we want. Let's check out our temperature, see if we hit 153, is that what I said? We are right where we want it. 153, that's perfect. Now, so we're gonna let this sit for 60 minutes, probably get heating up our sparge water 30 minutes before, it might take that long to heat it up. So we got 5.25 gallons of sparge water, little gypsum, Actually, a gram and a half, I believe, is what we just put in there. A little less than a milliliter. Just to help bring the pH down a little. So we got our sparge water heating up. About 20 more minutes with our mash. Right now would be a good time for a beer. Today we're drinking uh, this beer from Epic Brewing in Denver, Colorado. It's called Son of a Baptist. It's a coffee stout made with local coffee and cocoa nibs and so Let's try it out. Yeah. It smells like a coffee stout. 
Mm. I made one one time that tasted just like that actually. That's fantastic. Great pet too. So we got our sparge water. We want it at 170. Clear. It's going to take a few of these to get it going clear. Okay, I think we have it coming out pretty good now. Start draining them over there. Okay, and it begins. Let's start our spurge here. Just want to keep it just about an inch above the green better so. All right, we're just about to six and a half gallons now. the boiling point is about 204 degrees. Okay, we're at 30 minutes. Gonna we'll add our last ounce of saws, the last top edition. Well, had to move it in a little bit, started hailing. We have 10 minutes left. We're gonna throw in this whirl flock tablet. We can do it at five minutes. Alright. Our hour's up and we are cooling this bad boy off. Got this cooled down to 75 degrees. Got everything sanitized. So now we're gonna start draining it off in here. like it's taking a leak in the bucket. You can use a hose if you want, but by this point, if it's under 80 degrees, then you're okay to aerate it. This is when you want to aerate it. So let's take a sample real quick before we strap the lid on here. Just shake the hell out of it. Okay, I'm gonna pour our yeast in here. Make sure you sanitize the outside of your yeast packet. on there nice and tight. And that is how it's done. We'll see you in, uh, normally you'd want to wait three to four weeks, sometimes longer for other beers, but for half white we'll probably wait two weeks. It'll just go ahead and this thing bottled, drink it young. All right, hey, it's been a few weeks. Our uh, beer has been bottled, carbonated, and now we're ready to review it. And uh, this thing here, it's called physics. It's supposed to make it more like on tap, I guess. Ooh, look at that color, that is beautiful. Very, very hazy, which you'd expect from a, a wheat beer. That head retention is fantastic. Looks very creamy. As far as smells, definitely smelling the banana and clove from this one. It smells great. Mm. The banana is very strong. A little bit of clove. Basically what you'd expect from a Hefeweizen with that Bavarian yeast. Ooh, that's just, that's refreshing. So the, as far as the bitterness, it's very, very light. Uh, 
the flavors from the, the yeast and the malt are definitely more pronounced than anything else, which is what you want. So I think we've got it balanced pretty good. The mouthfeel, it's very carbonated. And usually with the Heffenweizen, you want it to be higher carbonation than some of your other beers. Kind of a soft mouthfeel even with the carbonation. Overall, this turned out pretty good. Um, so I hope you guys at home, hope yours turned out good too, but that's fantastic. I think I could take down a few of those in one night.